This is Stamping Songbird, and today we're going to do a cute little project for Make It Monday. That's right, it's Monday, and we're going to make a little project. So this is going to be super quick, and it's going to be super easy. Anyone can do it. So today we're going to take some ordinary paper clips. I just happen to have colored paper clips, but you can use the silver ones. You can use any paper clips that you want. And we're just going to put these guys together with some simple items to make them cute. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to use ribbon to make a cute paper clip. So I just have a piece of ribbon. This is, um, I think it's a, a quarter inch of grow grain ribbon. And I'm just going to choose any paper clip. And I'm going to make sure that I have the, the piece that has the opening at the bottom because that's where you're going to put this onto your paper. And I'm just going to insert the ribbon through the top. I think I may have used a lot of ribbon here, but sometimes it's better to start with a big piece, just in case. And I'm just going to make a little knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then you're going to take your scissors, and you're just going to trim them. They're going to look like little rabbit ears. And that's it. You've got a cute little ribbon. So let's put that one to the side and let's move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be using stickers. So again, you just take your ordinary paper clip and this is not the mini paper clips, the little tiny ones. This is like the next size up. They're not jumbo, but they're large, I guess. So I'm gonna take this one, making sure that my opening is at the bottom. And I'm gonna take some stickers. And for this, you need to have stickers that um, you have several of the same like I have several hearts all the same size and shape several circles so I'm going to use the heart and this is probably the easiest one because all you're going to do is peel off your first sticker stick that at the very top like so and then you're just going to turn it around you're going to take another sticker remember same size same shape and you're just going to place that exactly over the other sticker now you can use adhesive foams to um, put in between so that the um, sticker looks a little bit uh, poofy, I guess, a puffy, and doesn't look so flat like mine. And there you go. You've got a cute paper clip. So that's two cute paper clips already. So let's go on to the next one. The next thing is washi tape. Now you don't have to have washi tape. You don't need to go out and buy washi tape. Um, it's just a suggestion. So it's just another way of, um, of using um, something to make your paper clips cute. So same idea as the ribbon, I'm just gonna pull some out. I'm just gonna tear that off. And make sure that my paper clip is facing the bottom, the opening is facing the bottom. And I'm just going to put this through the, now I say this is the easiest, I shouldn't have said that, I think the ribbon is the easiest, um, and the sticker. This one's not as easy only because your pieces can stick together. And that's really a pain, but otherwise it's an easy concept. So same idea, you're just going to pull it through and then match up the two sides, one behind the other. Kind of like what you did with the stickers. You're not making a knot like you did with the ribbon. Then you're just gonna t uh, cut off the excess at an angle. And there you go. You've got a cute paper clip using washi tape. So that's already three cute paper clips. So the last one, I'm going to show you is using um, some embellishments. So these are just uh, fabric flowers that I got at Michael's, like a whole bag. I don't know how many were in there for, hmm, I don't remember how much, maybe a buck, maybe in their dollar section. So these are just um, two flowers that are exactly the same. I'm going to grab another paper clip and grab a green one because it's green for flowers. <laughs> and you could use adhesive foam. Um, I'm going to use the glue dots because I don't know where the heck my adhesive foams are. So I'm just gonna um, put this on the flower. So all I do is go around and everywhere I see a little dot, it's hard to see on camera, 
I'm just going to place my flower on top and then pop it back off. Oh, that one didn't work. And usually it works. Ugh. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. I got two of them on there. I want to get a little more because... There we go. Okay, so I've got three dots on the back of my flower. And I'm going to take the flower that doesn't have the adhesive dots and just put that here. Just hold it there, making sure that your opening is at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to turn that around while I'm holding it. And I'm going to grab the one that does have the dots on it or adhesive foam, whatever you want to put on it. I'm going to line that up so that the part with the dots touches the center here. And make sure the petals line up as well. Well, they don't really have to, but I like things to match. Okay, and that's it. There you go. Another cute paper clip. So we made one using um, embellished flowers, paper flowers. We made one with stickers, one using ribbon, and one using washing tape. The possibilities are endless. This was super, super easy, super, super quick, and they're really cute to put on your paperwork, on your notebooks in school, uh, use as a bookmark when you're reading a book, or to mark the pages on your file of facts or your planner. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and happy crafting. Till next time, bye-bye.